Finally tonight, our Persons of the Week. Giving to charity is no doubt important, often rewarding, but it can also be impersonal. The check gets written with the hope that someone somewhere is helped. But one man has come up with a creative way to reach out and donate in a very personal way. I think anybody would help anyone if they knew who to help and how to help them. Dave Gergenti had a simple idea, to match those who need with those who can give. How's it going? Match them up one-on-one. -on -one. A year and a half ago, Dave launched a website, Wish Upon a Hero, where anyone can post a wish online and someone else, a hero, can grant it. You never know what your superpower is. Sometimes it's as simple as a, a advice or a birthday card. Uh, they're not always huge, huge wishes, so anyone can be a hero. The site was born out of Dave's desire to help after September 11th, and so far, more than 27,000 wishes have been granted. The wishes range from uh, very small things like uh, cards. We have large wishes. We had weddings granted. Uh, we send uh, wheelchairs. We get children eyeglasses. Examples? Heroes sent a World War II veteran back to Pearl Harbor for his 90th birthday. Heroes have gotten a bike to a boy with Down syndrome. For a girl whose house burned down, a dress and shoes for her senior prom. And for a boy with terminal cancer, a chance to meet his basketball idols. Ginny Winderman, who volunteers to help run the site, has been a hero 412 times. I could reach out to the people that I wanted to reach out to. It wasn't like I was giving to one particular organization where I really didn't know where it was going to. It was an individual. Many people on the site have both asked for and granted wishes. Nancy Mitchell, for instance, has granted 21 wishes. There's so many stories, and you can see how people have it worse than you. No matter how bad you have it, there are people that have it worse than you. But then Nancy reluctantly posted a wish after her husband lost one of his jobs, their dryer stopped working, their car needed thousands of dollars in repairs, and the refrigerator died. Honestly, I don't know why I waited so long. Um, because I know how powerful the site can be. You know, I've witnessed it, I've participated in it, and here comes a pickup truck with a brand new refrigerator. And I, I, I didn't know what to say, I was speechless. And who was Nancy's hero? It was Jenny. I can't thank her enough. She gave me traditions back with my family. It's not just an appliance. She hugs it every day, I understand. <laughs> you can make a difference and it doesn't cost you a penny. It may be just a phone call. It may be just a kind word. But something as simple that, that can make all the difference in the world. And so we choose the heroes of Wish Upon a Hero. Dave Gergenti tells us they've now started a foundation to raise money to fulfill larger wishes. That's World News for this Friday. I'm Charlie Gibson. I hope you had a good day. And now have a great weekend.